beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Metal Mark for Skulls and Bones. It's a beautiful day because Volbeat has returned after three long years. How are you guys? We good. Hung over. Hung over. Yeah, y'all, y'all just woke up. What did y'all do last night, man? Uh, we stopped by New Orleans. Oh. <laughs> so think for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no funny stories? Nothing you can say? No. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. Boys will be boys. <laughs> well, it was your day off, but how's this tour been so far for you guys? It's, it's been great. Um, we've been out for almost a month now, starting out in New York and basically driving all the way, like doing some Canada shows and in and out, Midwest, California, Arizona, Texas, and now we're here. So, and we're heading, and then we're heading to Florida, then we're actually flying back to LA to do an award show, and then we fly back and do uh, do the East Coast up. So it's basically like full circle all yeah. around in, in one and a half month. And the turnout's been really good. You know, we've played packed venues. Yeah, I heard New York sold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were doing the same venue. We started out, and it was sold out pretty quickly. So we added another show. So we're like ending the, the tour where we started. Hell yeah. Uh, but you know, all over actually, also places we haven't been before that we roll into Missoula, Montana, which wow. we actually never heard about <laughs> <laughs> uh, before it, it, it got on the on the schedule, you know, and, and then, then we had a sold out show with, I don't know, some, something like that, wow. and and one of the best shows on the tour, so, so you know, it's, it's really, it's just been good, a lot of people coming out, and we're having a good time, so nothing to complain about. Three years ago, when y'all played with Nightwish, it seemed that you're still pretty new to the American crowd. Do you still feel that same, or do you think that more American people are getting to love Volbeat like they should? Well, more people are definitely getting into it because there's bigger turnout this time than, yeah. than the last time we were here. So more people are definitely getting into it, and, but we need more people. Well, all right, next week y'all are playing the Golden God Awards. Do y'all have any special surprises coming up on stage that y'all can talk about? I don't know. We're gonna play three songs. Yeah. I don't even know exactly which three yet, and we might have somebody join us to play. Um, but I'm not even sure about that either. No. What is what is actually gonna happen? There were plans for somebody to go up on stage with us, but we don't know if that is gonna happen right now. Actually, but we have to wait and see. And like Thomas said, we're not sure what what three songs that it is we're supposed to play. I think Fallen is one of them. But that's it. Thanks yeah. Me. So we'll see. Well, when it comes, y'all obviously played the huge festivals in Europe, and with this tour, it's mostly club shows. Do you enjoy the club shows more than the festivals, or does it really matter to you guys? Well, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter because it always matters to play a show. But yeah. but but it's like you know, we have a good time and we play our asses off no matter how many people are there. Uh, but of course, it's a classic that that the club shows are more intimate. Of course, you know, if you if you play in front of ten thousands of people, you know, of course, it's it's just it's just a mass of of faces and hands and all that. And if you play a club like we can play tonight, of course, you know, you you got people right in in front of you. Can you can see <laughs> all the way to the back of the venue, and it's it's cool. But but I don't know. Both are good in 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 each way. After this U.S. tour, what's coming up for you guys later this year? Festival. Festivals. We're going home after the New York show. We're going home for like a month, and then it's festival seasons, basically. And after that, when that is over in mid in the mid of July, I think we have a f- small vacation on our own, and then it's back on the road again for the fall. Very cool. Well, I was reading up on Denmark today, and I found out they're actually opening up a Graceland replica house. 
it opened up today. Is oh, yeah, when it when it comes with to Elvis in Denmark, is there such a huge following? Like, because obviously there's some in y'all's music, but what is it about Elvis in Denmark of all places? The guy who is opening the museum or Graceland, Anders, as it's probably going to be called, is is a huge Elvis fan, obviously, and he runs the Danish fan club, and he has had a store for I don't know a few years, and he decided. As I was told one day, hey, why not do a replica of Graceland and have his store in there? When some he got a lot of stuff as he well. He got a museum yeah. as well for the Elvis stuff. Um, he would do a restaurant in there. People can throw parties and stuff like that. So, and I think it's going to be actually pretty cool once yeah, we visited. We yeah. played that city, and actually, you know, since Michael is such a huge Elvis fan, him and 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 this guy running running that fan club, then they they they've been hanging out a lot and like exchanging stuff yeah. and we were actually protectors or whatever it's called of, yeah. of that place oh, wow. you know normally you you pick the you know some royal <laughs> people or whatever to when it, when it's like an organization or something but we we were kindly asked if we would would, would be protectors of, of, of the place and we we're like yeah of course um, so so we we have to talk good about it, of course. <laughs> no, but it's it's a cool it's a cool idea, you know. Why yeah. not? Um, and and it's actually you know, it's not. It of course it's it's a business. It's it's done because they're gonna make money. But it's also done for the love of Elvis and and the fifties and and basically American like yeah. you know they're, they're building a diner like traditional fifties diner and all that. And and we don't have that much stuff of that in, in Denmark. And I think yeah. people people find that whole thing interesting, you know. I guess a lot of people over here as well, you know, yeah, that definitely. you're looking back to the 50s and you th you think it was such an easy time because everything was a little bit more black and white. I guess it was a really hard time to live, yeah, yeah. though, but, but like romantically looking into it. And I think there's a lot of people who who, who want to dream back or go back one day to, to visit that time period. Uh, well, cool. But for the last question, obviously, Elvis, when people describe your music, you've been called Metal Billy, you've been called Elvis Metal. Is there something that somebody's called you that you just absolutely hated? No. No. <laughs> even, even, even people who don't like our music put some sort of try to describe it and, and they, they, you know, I, I don't, I'm like, it, it's all up to whoever, whoever want to describe it and, and his or hers references, you know. Um, if you want to call it Elvis metal, fine. Metal, Billy, fine. Crap, fine. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter to we us. Just, we basically just call it music. You know, yeah. people ask, "What do you guys play?" So we play music. Then we don't. Then we don't limit ourselves to any specific thing. But at least we we are not like a theater group or some yeah, shit. You know, yeah. it's like we. Uh, well. <laughs> Uh, so you know it is it, 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 it is music we do and you know but but we want we want to have the freedom to actually not only play a mixture between Elvis and Metallica or whatever you call it but you know we, we want to do whatever we want right on well whatever y'all are doing y'all are kicking ass man thank you for returning to Atlanta Volbeat go get all their damn albums support this band tell your fucking friends they're phenomenal. I'm Metal Mark. Cheers.